So it came to my attention that former Nickelodeon producer Butch Hartman has launched a Kickstarter project to develop a safe family-centric subscription video on-demand service called The Oaxis, which will feature original acquired user-generated content spanning animation, drama, comedy, feature films, sports, fitness, reality, news, and video games. <sighs> oh my, I'm sorry, I can't support this idea. As already a lot of people have cleverly stated, this seems like developing an idea rather than having an actual plan or a carefully planned idea, which is expected as Butch in its entirety has only done a few failed pilots and three to four shows for Nickelodeon. Boonson is a Beast was so short-lived and no one really mentions it. And that's not to say that I hate Butch Hartman. I absolutely love and adore the guy to death. He's always seemed to be a gentle, nice guy and has also helped from, oh yeah, cartoon shorts. People like Seth MacFarlane find their own path in the animation industry, even if his channel at times looks too uncharacteristically and clickbait at times. Also, the Kickstarter itself isn't seriously taken to be successful. I mean, seriously. Oaxis? That sounds like an insurance company. Who will ever guess that this comes to the words Oasis and Oaxis? Also, the description is incredibly tall tale. At a point, I stated hysterically laughing. This looks like something Butch Hartman himself would have paradised. And the features in this streaming service are too much for an animator to handle. Like seriously, dramas? I know the last time I saw The Magnificent Century, my family was happily reconnected. Live action, documentaries, sitcoms, animation, kid shows, home garden shows, fitness shows, and video games? Tell me if you'd think the creator of the project had any coherent plan when he says he can handle the creation slash distribution of a home garden shows. Oh, there's the user upload featurette, which is YouTube. Except there's a family-friendly filter that I'm 100% users will eventually find a way to bypass. Jesus, even companies with family-friendly content that ended up being scrummy, like Sinar, at least they had a certain genre of content they were relying to Mr. Winsberg, wasn't like, hey man, we'll reconnect families, we'll be the ultimate pioneers of a children's entertainment, and soon all of our cartoons will be airing around the world. Now, that's not to say that Hartman declares himself as a god there, but here's the thing, I really, really, really don't want to see his career get worse only because he had a good-hearted idea that works mostly on paper and is partly actually really good. I wish newborn and old companies could have better ways of communicating with its audience. Also, that's not to say that this technically can be impossible. Who knows, maybe he knows people that have the luxury to help him with creating shows with a different genre each one, which will be quite satisfying for me. But overall, on the other hand, it's quite harsh to say that this project will fail. So many Kickstarters have failed or turned out to be hoaxes that nowadays seeing a Kickstarter like this will be a tragedy for a lot of bankers who already have donated money for the utilization of it. I don't say this might be a hoax, but we can't determine whether or not this will be successful either when having pointed out so many things wrong with it. By the way, doesn't Butch already have a network? I think it's called a Noog Network and it's quite mediocre. I want to believe that his decision for the creation of another streaming service wasn't because of ego, but rather make something this time be serviceable and successful. But anyways guys, I just wanted to make this quick video because I for one think this Kickstarter looks really bad. Do you think the Oaxis will be successful? Give me your thoughts down below. This is Red Wolf signing out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.